Huh? You want to cook or you want to dance? You let me know now. You want to cook here, dance it outside, please. It has been a <laughs> stressful week for me. Mm -hmm. I need to be a release today. And especially today, I'm going to cook a very special dish, my mm -hmm. signature dish. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be? It's called Fat Tuesday. I'll explain to you why it's called Fat Tuesday. But our guest today is someone that's very, very special. Uh, How special? Apparently, she's the first Malay woman that made my dad cry. She was in one of those great movies that we have produced in Malaysia. When I watch it in Penang, I actually cried. It wasn't very impressive. But I beg to differ. I think my grandmother was the first to make him cry. But anyway, that's a story for a different time. On today's show, there's going to be a signature dish, the Fat Tuesday, and also for dessert, some churros. Yeah. Check it out later, only on lunch. With the Knicks. That's right. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? For today's show, we have an amazing guest. Honestly, she needs no introduction at all. She's fondly known as the queen of the silver screen in Malaysia. She's been a mermaid, she's been a psychopath, monsters, everything you know, it's, it's all there. She's done it. But today, we'll get to know her as she is. Let's get to know more about her. It's none other than Maya Karin. Hey, how hello, are you? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome on the thank show. You how are much. you? Good, thanks. Looking good. Thank you. So I have one question that I ask all the guests is, have you ever been in a commercial kitchen? Uh, uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not? No yeah. no dishwashing stints before? No? Uh, no, I was no. a waitress. Was a waitress? Ah, so you're a friend of house. So we're going to yeah. have that, that evil bond somehow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, we have my father right there waiting for us. So let's get to know him. Okay, let's cool. Let's cool? Get to let's know. go. Yeah, so don't forget, you must watch Juanita. Why? Cheek. 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 <laughs> Nanti will you tengok, uh, uncle tengok, then you will know why I Which said so. Which one you get paid more? Is it Ombak Rindu or Jumata? <laughs> <laughs> of course, lah, the price will go up and up and up. Okay, too. So the next one when you're starring with me, what do you think we should get? Uh, How? Ah, <laughs> I get you that. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> you are? I am what? Pan Asian. Yeah, sama macam dia lah. His mother is Australian. Mm. Your father is? German. Achtung! Achtung, baby! Okay, so you have been acting since you were how old? Uh, since I was... You could say since I was four, maybe, or five. In Seriously? school, paling kiasu I always want to be the one to get uh, the main role. And you do a lot of modeling too when you were growing up? Yeah, I started up? at 14. Commercials? Mm. So in now, Indonesia what do you don't do? Do you still do modeling now or you only do acting, nothing else? I just sing and I act and I host and I cook. Singing? I heard you sing once. Yeah, come on. I have been a fan of you, I suppose. Yeah. When you were a little kid. You freak me out now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was back in 1994. Stalker, at Lama Stalker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stalker. 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 I will tell you the reason why I call it Fat Tuesday and how special that dish. I invented that dish before he was even born. Okay. When I was cutting his mother, you see? It's also a chicken dish with a twist to it. And I also serve something Mediterranean, which is the couscous. I hope you like couscous. Shall we go okay. to the kitchen? Let's go. Let's go. Welcome, Maya, to our kitchen. Thank you very much. I'm sure you're familiar with all these ingredients around the world. Yep. Yeah. You so, know, most actors around the world, mm -hmm. before they become famous, they used to work as a waiter, kitchen hand, and all that. <laughs> she, have you ever worked as a waitress in your life? Where I was. Went? Where? In London. For two months. Two months. It's a good job too. And what you hate about that job? I loved it. Oh. I loved serving my... Customer. Customers, my clients. I love talking to them and remembering what they like and what they don't like and having, re you know, customers come back. The next day, and um, just I don't know. Today' it. dish is called Fat Tuesday. Okay. The star of the show, uh, apart from you, that is, <laughs> we also <laughs> have this chicken. It's now, the chicken. It's the chicken le poulet. Le poulet. Okay. This poulet, we need to use only the breast part of the chicken because oh. I need to fill it with garlic prawns. 
The easiest way to do it is to cut it into half. Yeah? That, and then you break at the back. Oh, you like cut. that. Now, this one, Jangan Michael. Jangan laju sangat, Uncle. <laughs> slow down a bit. I can't. How am I supposed to remember yes, this? I'm not that old to do things nah. so slow. <laughs> put it back in there, please. Okay. Okay? okay take you out go the here, go around. Okay? You snap in between. You just go and cut it off. You need the joint? Mm -hmm. That's okay. how people do the chicken wing. Chicken. That is cut the taste. You go away both hands. All right. Take it away. Now, you see this? We don't want this, right? You have to take this out. I cut it off just for show. Sure. Hold it, put your thumb, and peel it back quick. Look at that. The whole skin is up. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> there you go. There you, you go. go. You might need this. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay this is fat. I'm trying to have less fat as possible, so you cut the fat off. All right. You trim it a little bit on the side. Now, you get this bone. Do that. You slowly insert this in the middle. And there's two wishing bone like this. A V-shape. You go the knife around here. Okay. You do that. It's a knuckle. You cut between the knuckle, the whole skin come off beautifully. Look at that. Um, Voila. And this is what we find in the supermarket. Machini. Okay. So we have some uh, room temperature butter over here. How many grams is that? Um, honestly, we just whack it. Agar, agar. Agar, agar. Like a handful. Like a because handful. For, so this is just giving a slight mix just to make it a bit more malleable. Mm -hmm. In goes the garlic. Just a little bit. I don't want it to be too... That's enough. That's enough. Yes, sir. In goes the garlic. And if you want to make a garlic bread, this is exactly how it is. Just garlic. Not all of it. Just, just garlic, ba um, butter, and parsley. There you go. And this is all you need for a garlic bread. You know how you make garlic bread? This is the paste you only need to do. Straight in the oven, there you go. But the beautiful part of this one is we have the prawns. You put there. Put a little bit of salt. We remove the head, the tails, and the shell. And the shell. And all we have to go is just. Chicken. So now, this is where is the prawns ready, are. The yep, prawns going into the butter. That's it. And we're just going to give it last whisk. Combine everything. Now, Maya, I'm sure you've done this before. I want you to feel that with the fillings. Got it, boss. Try to put as much garlic and the prawns as possible. This is good. Okay, cool. 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 Now. Okay. Inside this chicken breast, there is a fillet. This is the fillet. And this is a very essential part of the dish because I need to seal it off later. So I separate the fillet out, okay? And that's the breast. This, this is, is what like we're going to do. Turn it upside down. Use a sharp knife in the middle. The trick is just to insert it in half. Okay. Okay? Do not puncture any of the meat. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just stuff this in as deep as we can. There you go. Expanding. Yeah. See, Maya? The Paris breasts. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Getting easy. their filling, you see. <laughs> so, yes. uh, there you go, okay. So we have two pairs of, uh, okay. a pair of plot okay. breast. This one is to bash it up so that that becomes the seal off. Put in between this. There you go. And you use this. It's like a carpenter, isn't it? No, okay. This way, okay. This is how I impress your mom. You put it in this, you seal it up. Okay. Therefore, it will never drip out. Mm -hmm. uh, crumbing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got All right. Uh... All you have is some milk. Can you please break an egg into it? How did she do that? Ah. She used two hands, and I think she failed. Oh, okay. 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 Please mix it up. Okay. This is to do the... <laughs> I think that should be enough. All right. Okay. All right. This is to do the crumbing. Yes. Now, to make it crunchy and beautiful, what I do is in this bread, this is called the crumbs, yeah. bread, crumbs bread crumbs, I put some... What is it? Sesame. Sesame. Because when you deep fried it, this sesame comes up. And also some almond flakes. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, all of it. Feel it, you know? Mm. There you go. Perfect. All right, now, let's crumb. I'm going to do it. One side. The other side, sprinkle it, make sure you get it all around it a bit. Oh, perfect. And then you can hold by the bone. bones. 
And so what kind of dance do you do? Malay, um, traditional dance? Yes, I used to do, because I lived in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. I did Indonesian traditional dancing. Tari Bali, Tari Padang, oh. Tari Kepiting. Tari so Kepiting, that's uh, a crap, isn't it? Yes. So you have to move sideways. <laughs> Next. Coming. So, so you, quite a bit of work. you invented this, is that, is that I, right? I designed this dish. Yeah. That's why it's called our signature dish. dish. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. going to prepare this couscous. This is very, very popular in Morocco. Yeah, okay. in Morocco. Michael, all we need is just okay. See, this is couscous. Maybe Wonder some of you this. have not really seen it. It's not that popular in Malaysia. We have to cook it up first. Okay. Well, I, I need to prepare the couscous with some butter oh. and water. Bring it to a boil. I just put a pinch of salt into it. When it's boiled, it. so there. Just pour the couscous and put all the raisin. Yeah, have a have a play with it. Mix it all up. Okay. Now the liquid one. This is boiling. We pour and serve. Simple as that. Okay. There's nothing to it. Now it's cooked, ready to go. Okay. 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 Careful, panas. Oh, I think that should be just. Nice. And okay. this essentially is one of the most important tools that we have. That's true. Please. Next is to serve the chicken that's already ready to go. Yeah. So, this is the plate we're going to decorate. I'm going to garnish it nicely with some other thing. The couscous becomes the base for okay. the chicken. And we put the chicken. On, on top, top of it, we have another sauce. Uh, the sauce is called bunny sauce, which is made of I egg. Love. And a what bowl the bath, add with melted butter and vinegar. Vinegar. So uh -huh. that we have ready here, prepared. Mm, yummy, I would So now imagine you have a couscous underneath. You oh, have a nice let's, brown. Let's let her give this a taste. Dark because um, this is, I think, no, a lot of people no, believe. No, please. A lot of people believe that this is the diffi most difficult sauce to make, but flavor-wise, it's, it's worth the that. work. It's like a mayonnaise, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The texture is like mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Super creamy. Good. So oh, next, mm. I gotta get you to do something. These are oranges. oranges. I just used one. I want you to cut, take the skin out completely. Mm -hmm. I want you to take out the wages piece by piece. The segments. Oh. Segments. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Could you do that, please? Do there you go. All right. Now. No. 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 Check. No. No. Oh. No. I'm showing you something, Uncle. Ooh. On. I've watched this on YouTube. Now she's gonna teach us, Daddy. All right. So this is the the best, most efficient way to, to peel an segment, the orange. Segment. So you don't have like bits and pieces. It all comes off as one. And then uh, if you can just pay attention here for a bit, Maya. Yeah. Once you remove everything, we want to get the segments out, right? Yeah. So you see it has the, the guidelines in there built in. So just follow on the left side of it and then on the right side. Just keep on going and then you start having segments just like that. Just like that. That's what we need. Got it. All right, very well. I'll get you another plate. You may fill this up. Let's put this and let's serve this up. So, okay, hang on. We have um, all the different elements ready, right? Yep. We have the sauce right here. Yeah. We have the chicken, the couscous, and the orange segment. Uh, we, we're going to need a bit of uh, parsley. Yes, But parsley. before we get the parsley, before we show her how to plate this beautiful dish, I think we should let her sit down and, and enjoy it from a, from a guest point of view. What do you think? I think she's Good helped idea. out a lot. Sit yeah, down where? Right, right outside, just sit down, we're going to serve everything for you. Are you ready? Oh, okay, so I don't get to be part we'll, of the we'll, finale? We'll, we'll, you show, want to we'll, be... we'll show you, we'll show you. Don't do you want to be part of this? Okay lah, tak apalah. That's the first time one of my... <laughs> just kidding, I'm, I'm, I'm easy no, no, either way. Right. Right. Okay, no, okay. Okay. okay, let's do this. <laughs> Alright, so couscous goes right smack in the middle. Let me, okay, just slightly off-center. Okay. This piece looks nicer, I think. Okay. 
Which way do you think? Put it across. Uh, no, um, the other side. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Probably not. <laughs> Why are you That's shaking? Right. No <laughs> worry. <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has to be okay, like... <laughs> See, okay. when you do, because you're a right-hander, right? Make sure the bones is on this side. Okay. So okay, now we're going to put the sauce. Look at this. Wow. Of course, when I invented this dish, my mother was looking at it like, what is this crazy guy doing? And I like it to drip a little bit on the side uh, so that you can have a bit more sauce later on, right? There you go. And now please garnish it, Michael. Okay. Line up nicely in the same direction. Three pieces on top of the oh, chicken. Oh, on top of the chicken. Tapi tak, cannot lah. I don't think I can fit three oranges on top, Uncle. Trust me. Okay. Room was not built in a day. Okay. So I'm going to slide then. off, is it? One more. Don't worry. It, it stays on. Okay. Can you get the jukebush? <laughs> you are so nervous, <laughs> Maya. OK, there you go. Uh, OK, and last thing. Last. Some parsley. Sprinkling, sprinkling parsley of on top parsley. Of oh, my god. There you go. So, OK. What do you think? Is that good enough to eat? Look at that. Check it out, oh. people. Is it cooked? Mmm. Yeah, that's it. My God, we did it. That's the dish. There you go, the Fat Tuesday chicken. Mmm. Look at them staring at me. Yo, oh, I, I turn around. <laughs> okay. We want to see your expression when you have the bite. Mmm. Mmm. And a bit of couscous. It's delicious. Awesome. The butter now goes mm -hmm. inside the couscous, give you the extra flavor of the garlic prawns. And I have to say, and the sauce. It's fried just perfectly Thank because you. I usually don't eat um, uh, penny, breast meat because I find the meat is often too dry no and like so chunky. I prefer the leg, but this one I have to say, Uncle, it's really tender and it's really soft and juicy. What yes. are you going to spoil her with? We're going to make uh, churros. Which is super interesting. I've done a few desserts, but I've never ever done churros before. But, uh, it's actually very, very easy to make. Yeah. Same happens here. We're going to make the wet part first, which is water. This goes in the pot. This is just plain water, yeah? Okay. A bit of uh, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Some salt. Ta -da. Thank you very much. And the last piece of this puzzle is the butter. It is the butter. Because this is going to add the, the fat in there. Almost like making the Should couscous be. just now, isn't it? <laughs> Shall I light the till? Yes, please, sir. This goes on the fire now. Ow, ow, panas. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there, you got me there. OK, so we're just going to mix this around. Daddy, can you help me here? Yes. Just going to mix until it's all melted. Um, we just want it to simmer. You can let it boil as well, but there's no point. We just want to uh, get it warm. All right, over here. Uh, we're going to mix in the flour once that's boiled, but there's also going to be an egg. So even though this is um, part of the liquid uh, component of this dish, we don't want to cook the eggs and make it into scrambled eggs. So that's why this goes in later, not right now. Okay, okay. So it's ready. That's ready. Okay, you can take it off the heat, please. We're just going to whisk this together, the eggs and the vanilla. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Okay, and now, it's very important, this is uh, where we have to pay attention a bit, okay. that you have this hot liquid and you need to add flour to it. But don't use a whisk. What you use is a wooden paddle, wooden spoon like this, and then just work out. There you go. All of it? Yes. Most people just go throw this way or just shake their hands, you know? You did it right. Thank you, Uncle. So this is where your muscles come in. And just okay. From that texture, you see how it's not mixed perfectly? Yes. Just keep on going until it turns into a ball. All right, so now that is mixed. You can see there's no dry spots of flour in that dough at all. Correct. Now we can start adding the egg. All right, let's start. That's better. Slowly mixing it's, it it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be really slippery. Okay, keep on going. All right, so it's gonna look like um, it's separated, right? The dough and the eggs don't mix, but yeah. just keep on going. Like I said, muscle is all you need in this bit. 
Keep on can going. I try? Yeah, you can. See Go how, ahead. Feel how hard it is. Okay. So this is a very sensitive dessert. Okay. Make sure you do it with both hands so that there's no shell fall into it. That so, is good. Yeah. So the consistency you're looking for here is just that when you start piping it out, it's it will up. hold Let's the shape, see. right? You go, in you go, and out you go. There you go. Okay, okay. so it's on in the pipe. So now this is beautifully packed. I'm just going to give this a twist so that it's all compact. And when, I'm going to fry it at the back, but just to show you, when you pipe it out... Oh, that looks nice. See how it holds the texture? You can put it straight away onto this without it sticking? Oh, well, no, this is just to show you the shape. Oh, but what I'm going to do on? is pipe it into the oil. Straight into the oil. Oh, then, straight into the mm -hmm. oil, OK. And then let it hang for a bit, so yep. it crisp up, and just use my finger and just... Ah, OK, And then you're going to have it. that sort of shape. Uh, we also have the coating, so some sugar and cinnamon. You can just mix it together, toss it around once the chew has come up from the oil, but I like to have it a bit more finer and a bit of a be better mix. So what we do is, Food processor. Uh huh. Okay. Just dump That's it all the in. Book up. Not the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. So fire it away. Very quick one. Not so long. Rough texture. Yeah. Now, can you please tell me if that does not smell like churros? Absolutely does. Right. Yeah. That's the exact flavor you're looking for. I'm just going to get this out and have a look at the texture. And there you go. There you go. Mm, look at that. Yummy. All right, this has been fried right out of the oil into the cinnamon sugar and onto this beautiful plate with some chocolate sauce. Mm, Are you excited nice for plates. this? Yeah. It works well with the, with the churros, huh? Oh, okay. Quite long. So shorter one, the long ones we give it to. <laughs> My enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Michael, mm. that's a chocolate sauce, right? That yes. Delicious. Smell like churros. Looks like churros. Does it taste like churros? <laughs> Can you hear that? Because it's crunchy. Crunchy. Awesome. Awesome. Mmm, perfect. For these two awesome men, the two Nicks, lunch with the Nicks, I'd like to say thank you very much to everybody who's been there for the whole season. This is our last episode. I'm sure. Bye bye. 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 See ya.